In order to ensure that you can get the most out of your pixel streaming, I'd like to quickly present to you a few of the options you have to debug your pixel stream to ensure that the connection is working properly and to check on its current status. As you can see here, we have a standard signaling server, turn server, and a connected streamer all running at the moment. If we head back over to our local machine, I'll present to you a few things you can use to get the most information about the current state of your pixel stream. First up, let's have a look at a page to determine the actual connection type we're using, be it stun or turn. Firstly, we'll click to start to get the connection going, so this is running just fine. Now we'll go up here and we'll navigate to Chrome, WebRTC internals. This page provides you a ton of information regarding your ICE candidate connection. And what we can look at here is if we open this ICE candidate grid page, we can see the connection of our other tab, the running pixel stream. If we have a look at this section here, connected to remote candidate, what we see here is under the UDP candidate type, we see SR flex or server reflexive. Server reflexive currently indicates that we're using a stun connection. As we're using a stun connection, it's only fair that I show you how it works with a turn connection. So if we head back to our, into it, our stream here, we'll open up the front end settings panel and we'll enable fourth turn. Restart that. Close this panel. All right, we're now reconnected and we can see at the top here, fourth turn equals true. Let's head back to the WebRTC internals and look for the appropriate page. You can see here on the far right, we've got our fourth turn connection. We'll open up the ICE candidate grid again, and you'll see here Relay. Relay indicates that it's now no longer using the stun server reflective connection, but is relaying through the turn server. Fantastic. On top of using Chrome or WebRTC internals to determine the type of connection you currently have maintained, there's also information provided through the pixel streaming application itself. If you're interested in the current stats of the active stream, you can use these console commands here. Firstly, we use tilde to open the console and we'll go stat, pixel streaming. Great. Stat pixel streaming provides you a bit of basic information about the current uh, stream quality. This is very similar to the information provided in the information panel here, but there's just a bit more involved. Additionally, we'll undo that command and then we'll enable stat pixel streaming graphs. Stat pixel streaming graphs shows you the current state of the encoding and is a, also a very helpful thing to determine whether or not your quality issues may be through the encoder or the application itself. Alternatively, if you're using Firefox, it does have its own internals page as well. The URL for that is about colon WebRTC, so a little bit simpler. Now you can see here, we've got our tabs available. This one's quite helpful as it'll show you if a, a tab has been closed or not. So if you click on show tab, it'll take you to the relevant tab. So you know you're always getting the right information. So we have a ton of helpful information here about our stream. But if we scroll down here, we can see our usual connection, our ice stats. And you can see here that we have PR flex or relay. PR flex means peer reflexive and is also indicative, indicative of a turn server connection. These are just a few helpful pages to help you diagnose your server connection. Uh, this is a great way to determine what type of connection you have or the quality you have. I'll link a few pages below to help you find extra information on debugging your connection. The depth of information present in ICE candidates and WebRTC is wide and difficult to cover all of, so I'll provide whatever information I can below.